my name is Emine from AquaHealth Products. So you've probably heard the expression, water is life. But to what extent is water life? I mean, obviously, if there wasn't water on our planet, we wouldn't be able to survive. But in fact, water is responsible for every single uh, biochemical reaction that happens in our body. We can survive for many weeks without eating, but we cannot survive for more than a few days without drinking water. Uh, yet three out of four people are actually dehydrated and don't even know it. And dehydration is the root cause of many, many different kinds of um, illnesses and health conditions. It is also um, the root cause of aging in general. Um, if, we, if our skin becomes more wrinkled as we age, um, it, there is a natural dehydration um, sort of cycle that, go, that as we age we, we lose water. So we have to compensate also for that natural loss of water. Um, um, by drinking not only more water, but the right kind of water. So um, the best kind of water for um, our health is living water. Just as living foods have more nutrients, they're more nutrient dense, they have more energy, living water is the same, the same thing. So um, think of a, a river that is in nature, far from all sources of pollution, um, that is just tumbling down uh, the riverbed. So it's picking up, um, first of all, it's energized, it's moving, it's in movement, it's got the energy from the earth as well, the magnetic energy, it's got a lot of dissolved oxygen because it's, it's tumbling, it's spiraling, it's uh, twirling around, so it's um, actually increasing the amount of dissolved oxygen inside the water. Um, and, and it's also picking up minerals on the, on the riverbed. So these are the types of properties that actually make water a living water. And that's the best kind of water that we can give ourselves. Unfortunately, most of us do not live nearby a, a spring or a, a decontaminated river where we can just take the water straight out of, out of the, the, the river or straight from the spring. Um, so we drink other kinds of water. Um, we do the best we can given the circumstances, um, but bottled water, you know, in addition to being very expensive and, and having a huge environmental impact, doesn't necessarily have those properties. Even spring water, uh, bottled spring water at the spring did have those qualities of energy and uh, dissolved oxygen and um, you know negative ions and all those things that our body needs um, but by the time that spring water gets transported uh, brought into an industrial facility put into machines to into bottling machines and then you know contained in plastic uh, bottles and then put on a store shelf all of those things actually make the spring water lose that inherent life uh, that it has. Okay, So um, basically um, water as it is found in nature is called structured water. Structured water has the, the live life force energy um, that, that our body needs. And basically um, structured water is a form of water that organizes itself, itself into crystalline forms um, that are perfectly symmetrical. So they're microclusters of H2O molecules that stick together and they form perfectly symmetrical um, forms. Think of a snowflake and how a snowflake or a, or, or a uh, crystal will actually um, form in a perfectly symmetrical shape. Well that is what structured water is. Water without it being touched by humans is structured living water. Unfortunately all the things that we do to water um, actually make it lose that structure so the water becomes destructured, the, the clusters become larger, more disorganized, and they do not hydrate um, um, as effectively as structured water does. So those large asymmetrical um, clusters do not uh, permeate through our cell membrane and therefore they don't actually do their job very efficiently of hydrating, um, of transporting nutrients, of circulating freely through our entire body, um, and also of um, detoxifying, so of eliminating waste and toxins, which is a daily function. If water is not going into the cells properly, it's also not transporting the, the, the waste products out very efficiently either. So that's where the Vitalizer Plus comes into play. The Vitalizer Plus is a small countertop appliance that allows you to re-energize um, your drinking water and restructure it and give it that life force energy that our body needs. So it's a very simple um, concept. Um, it sort of looks like a blender, so it has the base and it has a pitcher. So you put the um, 
filtered or bottled water in the pitcher. Um, it is not a filter per se, so the water already has to be um, safe to drink and uh, free of contaminants. Um, so basically all you have to do is set the uh, unit in motion. I'm just going to put this black um, sheet behind it so you can see the vortex more clearly. So in the center of the pitcher um, there is a vortex, a spiral that is created thanks to the magnets that are in the base and also a spinner with a magnet in it inside the, um, inside the pitcher and that is creating that um, uh, spiraling um, movement. I'm just going to turn it off because it's making a little bit of noise but um, that spiraling movement actually um, is doing a couple of things. First of all it is increasing the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water so just like the spirals in the river that we spoke about um, the spiral here is actually increasing the amount of oxygen in the water. Um, the other thing that a vortex does is it actually um, gathers energy. So contrary to explosion, which is a loss of energy, this is imploding the water clusters. Um, and by, by implosion, that means a destruction as well, but by gaining energy. The, the eye of this vortex, just like the eye of a, uh, of a tornado, has a huge amount of energy in it. So we're actually concentrating that energy, raising the energy level within the water, and that energy is also causing the, um, the very large uh, um, ace symmetrical water clusters to disintegrate, to be imploded, and then they are able to reorganize themselves in a completely natural way. And as I mentioned earlier, um, water, when left to its own uh, devices, will organize itself in a perfectly crystalline um, manner um, in order to, to make those micro clusters that are perfectly symmetrical. So we're increasing the oxygen, we're increasing the energy. The energy is not only coming from the vortex but also from the magnetic energy that is in the base of the unit. We are restructuring the water to give it that hydrating property and also in the, ba in the base of the, the, the pitcher here there is a um, a mineral cube. So that mineral cube contains um, minerals, tra trace minerals that are actually very good for our body. So it will um, slightly increase the pH, not a lot, just just enough um, to, to bring it within the natural um, range of, of what our body needs. Um, and the, uh, the, the minerals therefore will just uh, help to um, increase the energy also and it will uh, allow our body to uh, assimilate and absorb the water much more efficiently. So the, the properties of what the, uh, with this very simple concept, the Vitalizer Plus has a huge impact on how the water is um, um, helping our body come back into balance. The water is circulating more freely, it is entering the cells more effectively, it is eliminating waste more effectively, and our body just has more oxygen, um, more energy, and uh, it has a huge huge, huge impact on restoring the internal equilibrium in our body that allows our immune system to just be that much more efficient. And um, drinking water with a Vitalizer Plus um, can have significant impact not only on preventing disease but on reversing a lot of illnesses that are due in part to a um, uh, the, the body being out of balance and dehydrated. So do have a look um, into this, um, have a look at our website, we've got a lot of information on the uh, website as well, and if you have any questions about the Vitalizer Plus, please give us a call. Thank you. Mm -hmm.